Hi, this is Trey Pastor. They released a teaser trailer for the Batman movie, which is coming out on DC, you know, on DC, at DC Fandom. They had a nice long panel with uh, the director, so uh, you dropped that. So let's uh, check this out. I'll be right back. Let me put my headphones in. Okay, here we go right now. Go. Got a tape. What the hell is that? That's masking tape, whatever that is. Oh man, no more lies. Jesus. From your secret friend. Who? Gordon. It's a Batman. Having a clue. Lies. Let's play a game. Just me and you. Any of this mean anything to you? <laughs> to the Batman. Ha, ah, there he is. Ha. Ah. You're becoming quite a celebrity. Alfred. How does Bruce Wayne? To the Batman. Why is he writing to you? Catwoman. If you are justice, please do not lie. What is the yep, price the for your blind eye? Oh, the hell are you supposed <laughs> to be? Whoa. Oh. Whoa! Jesus! Oh, Jesus! I'm vengeful. Ha ha! The Batmobile! Whoa! This guy's crazy! Uh oh. Like the music. You're a part of this. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh, that was the Riddler, right? Yeah, but the question only in theater is currently in production. Yeah, that was intense <laughs> and brutal. <laughs> when he started wailing on that one guy, Jesus, that was just like brutal. He just started wailing, but <laughs> but I like the, the whole tense, like the music. I like the whole tone of it and. He's out there in the open, uh, you know. He, I guess since it's supposed to be year two Batman, so I guess he has, the, you know, established the relationship with Gordon. So he, you know, you see him right there. He's talking to him right in front of everybody else. So, you know, and he's a thing. So, but I like the way he looks, and the you know, in the suit and stuff. And like I said, he was brutal to that. Those I don't know if those like Joker minions or whatever. They may have been, right? Because you see those boy headed guys, they looked like they had like clown makeup on. So they could have been, I guess, Joker minions or something like that. But he was just brutal. He like beat the living crap out of that dude and said, I'm vengeance. <laughs> I like that. That was nice. And then there was a brief little interaction with Catwoman, I guess, before she puts on the little suit. It looked like she was like robbing a safe because she had the little mask on and stuff. And she tried to, you know, fight him and he just, you know, kind of flipped her out of the way. And stuff. So, and then you got one that good shot of the Batmobile, you know, the back of it. Then it taken off, which is cool. And uh, like I said, so I guess the Riddler is going to be the main villain. No more lies, and and he's leaving these notes for Batman and stuff around. So uh, you know, Batman has to figure out, you know, who he who who Edward Nygma is, I guess. So, and like I said, it looks like like he said he has the relationship with with um with Gordon already established because you know he's. You know, he's leaving the notes saying to the Batman and stuff. And so, so this looks good. Like I said, we didn't see any of the uh, the Penguin in there, which is, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll see him in another, maybe in another trailer. Like I said, they only shot 25% of the film anyway, so. I got, but I'm glad we got that little bit. Like I said, I whole like the whole tone and atmosphere of this. It looks really uh, unique and kind of, it reminds me of Gotham a little bit. Okay, but. 
Robert Pattinson like, uh, as Batman looks looks really intense. Okay, I didn't get to see that much of him as Bruce Wayne, I mean, and you just got to hear Alfred's voice and get to see him. Okay, but it looks looks intense and and good. Only like I said, we've only seen twenty five percent of the film, so but I like what we've seen so far. So anyway, let me know what you think of the Batman this teaser trailer that they released at DC Fandom. This was the, like the last thing they released at the at the very end of DC Fandom. Uh, but which is really actually was a really good experiment. I like that they should do that every year if they have enough content. I guess they could do that, you know, with the TV shows and movies together, and they should. This was a really good experiment, the DC fandom thing. I definitely recommend it. They should do this every year. Anyway, uh, I'll leave a link to the teaser trailer for. I mean, it says teaser, but it's like a full length trailer to me. Anyway, I'll leave a link to it in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. I'll also, have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. I'll also, have a link to my other channel, All Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.